I'm here at the bus barn in Normal, where first student drivers come and go from each day, making their way to pick up the children they say they love working with. But now they tell me not only are they not getting paid in full for their service, they're also getting blamed for the bus delays they say are a result of choices made by management. Lola Albright says it was tough to leave first student after five years on the job. But she says she just couldn't deal with the drastic changes they made. The new manager came in and let go almost all the staff that was there. Everybody that's there is new in those positions. And the people that would let go really knew the ins and outs of first student. Albright claims she was short five hours of pay. I did my job. I, I pitched in. I did field trips. I did charters. I mean, I thought the people who were there respected me. And right now, I don't feel like they respect the value, you know, the, what I gave them as service. She says other drivers are also missing money. But the union representing the drivers is working with First Student to fix the issues. We worked with management and brought those issues to their attention last week that were still outstanding, and they took care of them properly. And then it's just trying to make sure that everyone who still owed money gets that back pay. Nestler says tech changes could be the root of this problem, among other smaller issues. If routes are getting changed, it can affect the computer systems, as I understand it, and how they, the information they have to which they pay people off of. First student recently outsourcing their routing department to Montana is another choice Albright says is making drivers look bad. I and mean, they go by the book, but the book is not realistic when you get on the road. She asked parents to please be patient. They frustrated, so you take your frustration out on that bus driver. And it's not the bus driver, because they just as frustrated, too. I spoke with the area general manager for First Student on the phone, and he says that if there are drivers not receiving pay, that those are isolated cases, and they are working with the union to resolve them. He also tells me that they just hired and trained five new bus drivers, and that should help with the bus delays. Reporting from Normal, I'm Stephanie Rodriguez. Back to you. All right, Stephanie.